We are the 10th Mountain Division. We fight on the harshest terrain in any climate, anywhere in the world. Activated in 1943, we were the U.S. Army's Alpine Specialist. Built on innovation, adaptability, endurance, and teamwork, we trained at high altitudes and prepared to fight in the harshest winter conditions during World War II. Kiska, Riva Ridge, Mount Belvedere, Lake Garda, and the Po River Valley of Northern Italy. The Pando Commandos led the way by reimagining how winter and mountain warfare was approached. Through snow, winter storms, and rugged terrain, we turned seemingly impassable landscapes into an advantage. Expert mountaineer soldiers, we took on these challenges and ascended to great heights in the climb to glory. We earned the last 100 yards to defeat the enemy. And today, we continue to earn the last 100 yards to defeat the enemies of our nation, no matter where they are. What does it mean to be a mountaineer? What does it mean to be a 10th Mountain Soldier? And in the 10th Mountain Division, you're gonna be expected to perform your basic core infantry tasks at the battalion, company, uh, troop level um, in very severe conditions. When you're in the 10th Mountain Division, much like a, a lot of other places, there, there's no limitation where the 10th Mountain can be deployed. It is one of the most, if not the most, deployed division since the beginning of the G1. So there's no limit to the geographical dispersion of where our soldiers can go. And you'll constantly hear our commanding general would say, we have to be prepared to fight and win in any environment. It's not just cold weather, because we can go anywhere in the 10th Mountain, and we will go anywhere, now and in the future. They definitely have a lot more to offer, too, with the training sites and the things they can bring to the training sites, and people that have knowledge of everything definitely helps. Compared to the other duty station I've been to, it's a lot better here. They're definitely working towards the readiness of everyone. When it comes to training, it's 24-7. We have some breaks, but the amount of training that we do is intense and we're definitely ready, more ready than probably any other division. So if you're a squad leader, a team leader, a soldier, you don't have to go outside the installation to get advanced machine gun training, advanced marksmanship training, free ranger training, additional skills training for deployment, and most importantly from the 10th Mountain Division, cold weather training. We have that resident capability here to make sure our soldiers are prepared to fight and win against an enemy in a cold weather environment. And that's what you're gonna get at 10th Mountain. You're gonna get hardened soldiers in two feet of snow, sub-zero temperatures, still moving, still fighting. That doesn't happen everywhere. Very few places in the Army. That's, that really makes us unique and it gives an incredible strategic capability to not just the 10th Mountain, but the Corps, Force Comm, and the Army to leverage against its adversaries across the globe. Being a tent mountain soldier gives me a certain amount of pride and we go harder and faster than any division I've ever been in. The training here at Fort Drum is intense. When you go out there in the, in the field to do your mountain peak or when you go to JRTC, you are definitely tested. Uh, I've never had to move so much on my feet in my life, but you know, it makes us better. You see infantrymen having to get into the foxholes. You really get to see your cavalry scouts going out there. One of our premier courses that and most popular courses is our air assault course. You know, we can we can field about 135 of course. We have pinned air assault wings on thousands of mountain soldiers ever since 1985. Getting the opportunity to finally send some mountaineers to Chile for the most premier mountain school in all of the world. Uh, the Chile Mountain Wolfer is not only a mountain wolfer school, it's a very unique school that will qualify you as a mountaineer, but also as a skier. The first phase is winter phase. They teach you how to ski all day. When I was there, I didn't know what a pair of skis were. I had never skied in my life. And in a month, I was already skiing with a rucksack in my back. People think that the higher the mountain is, the harder it's going to be. It's not true. It's the way you get there. So you hear a lot of people talk about the North Country. We have a very strong relationship with our North Country partners. 
Um, each of the brigades is partnered with a city or a town, and through those relationships, we're able to very much um, enrich the experience for our soldiers. It also affords us great opportunities for additional training off post, and it just keeps that interconnected tissue, uh, which makes sure that we maintain a good partnership with the community around us that continues to facilitate training, not just now, but in the future. Fort Drum has a unique and stellar partnership with local school systems to educate students connected to the installation. 22 public and parochial school districts educate over 6,500 Fort Drum connected students living both on and off the installation. Local school districts supporting Fort Drum are viewed as a best practice in the eyes of New York State. Our schools ensure transitioning military students can efficiently enter into our area schools, feel welcome and supported, Families coming to Fort Drum have a wide range of educational options based on where they plan to live. Our community, the stores, the people um, fully support the soldiers and their family members um, here on Fort Drum and they do the best they can. Um, I would encourage you to go out and support the different businesses, um, see what we have to offer. This is just a beautiful area. You can enjoy the Thousand Islands region. Uh, we have folks from all over the world that actually come to vacation in the area along the St. Lawrence Seaway. Boat Castle, you definitely want to um, be able to get the boat tour in there. Living on post was absolutely the best experience. We have small children and when we first got here, this was our first school experience. Any given morning, it's easy to see 10 or so parents anxiously waiting at the bus stop, coffee in hand, sometimes in their pajama pants or PTs um, after morning PT, but we're all waiting together um, for our children to get on the school bus and head off to school. Seeing those 10 or 12 parents almost every day not only helped us form relationships with the various families, but it also put my mind at ease. They're people from different backgrounds, um, different locations. The best part of all of these people coming together and working together, I can definitely say they've become much more like family than when we just started as friends. Whether it was shoveling snow or sharing a meal, the families really connected. Here at Fort Drum, the world-class support of our surrounding communities makes us the best place to serve. Our soldiers maintain a steady focus on training, readiness, and rapid deployment. We stand ready to answer our nation's call, wherever and whenever it may come, while remaining relevant tomorrow to prevent, shape, and win future battles. The sun never sets on the 10th Mountain Division patch as you prepare to join the ranks of the most deployed division in today's army. You carry on the legacy of the mountain soldiers before you. Welcome to the 10th Mountain Division. Climb to glory.